today we are going to learn the second derivative. To add question number 10, find the second derivative for the given function. We add 10a. Given y equal to 3x plus 1 power of 5. For this function, to differentiate to get y prime. So we can use power rule. Therefore, we bring pi as power in front. Therefore, become 5 times 3x plus 1. And then the power we reduce. So, become 4. Differentiate function which is 3x plus 1. So, we get 3. Therefore, simplify. So, we have 15 times 3x plus 1 power of 4. For the second one, to find the second derivative, so we differentiate again by using the same method to which is power rule. So we have 15 times 4 times 3x plus 1 and then the power will reduce. Then differentiate function 3x plus 1, so we get 3. So therefore, we try to simplify, we get 180 times 3x plus 1 power of 3. Now look at 10b. So for 10b, we have y equal to 3rd 1 plus x square. So you can simplify for this function first. So become 1 plus x square power 1 over 2. Therefore, by using power rule, so we have 1 over 2 bring to front and then we have 1 plus x square power of negative 1 over 2. So which is power we reduce and then differentiate function fx so we get 2x and then try to simplify so we have x times 1 plus x square power of negative 1 over 2. And then differentiate again to get y double prime by using product rule. Because of we have two function here. So this is the first function. For the second function we have 1 plus x square power of negative 1 over 2. So, by using the formula v u prime plus u v prime. Therefore, we have v is 1 plus x square power of negative 1 over 2 multiplied by 1. Because of we differentiate x, we get 1. And then plus u is x and then multiply by Differentiate 1 plus x square power negative 1 over 2. So we have negative 1 over 2 times 1 plus x square power of negative 3 over 2 multiplied by 2x. So from here we can cancel out for 2. So try to simplify first. So we have 1 plus x square power of negative 1 over 2. And then minus x square times 1 plus x square power of negative 3 over 2. So from here we can see they have 1 plus x square for each side. So therefore you can take out 1 plus x square power negative 1 over 2. So, become 1 minus x square in bracket 1 plus x square power of negative 1. So, therefore, for C and D, you can do it by yourself. 